Hey guys, Ed here from YT Tracker. I have great news. The app is finally back online. Finally. I know it's been five weeks. It's been a mess. You guys have been waiting. I'm incredibly grateful that some of you are still in the app today, checking in. Um, I know some of you have been super patient and I'm, I'm really, really forever grateful for that. I want to take this video as an opportunity to explain to you what happened yesterday and why this whole thing happened if you're just discovering the app um, so you will know why I'm doing a video like this. <laughs> Tell you what it's going to mean for the app uh, in the future and how we can continue to work together um, to help your channels grow and to keep me in business to continue building great tools for YouTubers. So let's rewind the story a bit. Why this whole thing happened in the first place? You need to know that when you develop apps for YouTubers and that you require uh, channel data to display analytics, you need to access a service that's provided by YouTube, which is called the YouTube Data API. It's just a way for me to access channel data and display them inside an application. Uh, and when you use service like this, YouTube gives you a quota. It's kind of like a limit you are allocated to use. And every single user inside the app is using a bit of that quota every day. And then the quota resets at midnight and then it starts again. Um, but this quota is shared amongst all the users inside the application. And I only have one quota allocated to my application. And what happened is that back in July, um, everything was going great in the app, many of you were discovering it, and the traffic continued to grow inside the app. And that meant that many more of you were requesting data to display inside the app, and that my quota got smaller and smaller and smaller for each of you. Which meant that at the end of the day, basically the quota was exhausted. And that's why the app started to not display data, fail, some of the things wouldn't work. Um, and that's where the problem started. And when these things happen, as developers, we simply request YouTube to give us more quota because the app is going great, I have a great product, everybody loves it. Give me more quota and I can continue to, you know, provide the value to people. So that's what I did. And basically YouTube, instead of giving me more quota, they put the quota down to zero. They basically killed the whole access to their uh, servers. And that's why nobody in the app could load anything. That's why everything was broken. So I started investigating as to why this happened. And it turned out that YouTube was not happy with some of the features I had built for you guys. For example, I had a prediction features that would tell you when you could be monetized. This was a no-go apparently, and they were not happy I built this. So I had to remove it. So I removed this and then I was like, okay, so now it's good to go. Can we reinstall my quota and increase it so that the users can continue using the app? They wouldn't hear it. They send me more violations, some stuff that were in the app they were not happy with. For example, having ads, having uh, some data calculated based on their data. All of these things were not okay for them. So that's why I had to update the app over and over and over again. And for you, it wouldn't fix anything because every time I was trying to get YouTube to agree that my app was now okay to be used by you. And it took three or four updates, I think, to finally get them to, to agree that, okay, in this state, the app is okay. Here is your quota and we can increase it and you're good to go. And that's why it took five weeks. And it ended yesterday when I pushed uh, yet another update where I had to remove a few more things and finally they were happy and they reinstalled the coda and everything is fine now. So that's the status. The app is back online. If you have opened it because you saw this video, you go on the features, everything should be working fine. Um, what does that mean for me as a developer? Um, well, it's, it's kind of tricky because first of all, I had to remove all the ads inside the app. So for all of you who cannot afford the premium plan, you were helping me out by using the app simply because you had banner ads and that's kind of revenue for me, which helps me to, you know, work on this full time because I don't have a, a full time job. My full time job is to work on YT Tracker and YT Sticker, if you have heard of it, um, and to build other apps if I don't make enough revenue for this. Um, and so I don't have any more ads in the app, which is kind of annoying for me, even though it's a better experience for you, I get it. Uh, but you know, we always have to find a balance. 
And also I had to remove some of the coolest features. Um, so of course I'm going to add more features um, to balance this and try and get um, the app with as much value as possible for you guys. But it's going to be harder to make a living out of this because I can already see that less and less of you are grading and that means less revenue for me. That means I have to kind of shift my focus and make sure I make enough money to live, which means working on other apps, taking a client, freelance, finding a job. And overall, it means that I work less on YT Tracker and more on other stuff. So that's why in the future, I'm going to have to think about this and either increase my price, which I know sucks, but I don't have really much other choice, or move to a subscription model, which means once you pay, you pay a bit more every month, but at least, you know, you contribute to my work and you help me help you in a way. So I have to think about these things. And of course, I'm going to work on more features that will be okay according to YouTube. And that's going to ask, require me to be much more, you know, careful and considerate. And, and I'm going to have to be really, um, really acute in finding the right features for this. Um, so that's what's kind of going on in the app right now. It's working. It's going to evolve. Some things might change. The pricing might change. All of that is, is something I need to think about right now because my focus before was to get it fixed. Now that it's fixed, we can move on to the next step. So that's for um, what that means for the app. Now what's next is that I'm going to ship a small update that's going to fix a few more bugs that I noticed because uh, the last time I updated the app, it was 2 a.m. I was super tired and I left some bugs in it. So if you see, for example, I think the challenge page right now might have some weird visual stuff going on. Um, don't worry about that. It's going to get fixed. So that's what's next, an update to fix these things. And then I'll have a really big thing on what's next for the app and then providing more features and all of that. Um, how can you help me today? That's the one thing um, I wanted to talk about to finish. Uh, first of all, you can help me by giving me feature IDs. Anything you think you could do better, easier, faster with an app for your channel, let me know. You know how to contact me. There is a about screen in the app. You have a contact form that goes to my email, so you can easily do this. Um, the next thing you can do to help out is if you've been hang angry during that period, I get it. And if you've put a one-star review on the App Store, I totally get it. If you have two minutes to update this to a five-star review to help me out, that's amazing. If you've never uh, reviewed the app uh, before and you have one minute to do that, amazing. Go do that, please. That's going to help me a lot because I got so many bad reviews in the last month just because of this. And it wasn't really my fault. I was just trying my best. So if you can help me out with this, that's amazing. And the last thing you can do is tell your YouTuber friends that the app is back online. Because I got about 1,500 emails during the last month from people that were like, what's going on? It's broken. How you expect me to pay if it's broken? I can't use this. I can't use that. I get it. It was broken. So now I have to email these people back and it's going to take me a hell of time. So if you know some people in your circle, in your network that were using the app that stopped because it was broken, please tell them it's back on and they can start using it again because that's going to help me out a lot. So that's the last thing you can do for me. Um, I know this video was a bit long. I hope everything is clear. If you have questions, drop that in the comments. I'll be there to answer them. Once again, a big thank you for all your patience and all of you who sent me great messages of support. It was amazing. And I think without this, I wouldn't really have fought that hard to get it back online. So thank you so much. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, drop that in there and we'll be there to chat with you. All right. See you soon, guys. And thank you.